Hello and welcome to Craftiosity, the subscription box of modern craft kits. This month we're making a tactile latch hook rug inspired by the Geo Scandi trend. Inside your kit you'll find your latch hook fabric, two balls of light blue soft wool, one ball of dark blue cotton yarn, your latch hook tool, a wide eyed needle and you also have full step by step photo instructions. When you open your box, smooth out your latch hook fabric to ease out the folds. Your latch hook fabric has two directions. One set of threads runs with two straight lines across the length of your piece, horizontally, and the other direction, the vertical, has threads woven in and out of the horizontal line. We'll latch hook onto the horizontal straight lines. Your fabric has been cut this way so it's easier to follow. We start by edging all four sides of the latch hook fabric. Count two squares in from the selvage edge of the fabric, that's the edge with the red line through it, then fold it over and smooth it down. Then thread your wide-eyed needle with two arms length of the darker blue cotton. Adjust your fabric so you're holding the folded edge at the right hand side corner with the fold facing away from you. Count two squares down and three squares in from the right edge, then sew through from the back to the front. Leave the end of the yarn loose with about 20 centimetres spare. You don't need to tie a knot, we'll tie this at the end. Then sew diagonally through the square one up and one right from the hole you just came through. Then sew back through to the front to the left of your first square. Continue sewing along in the same way, creating diagonal stitches, holding your fold in tightly to the front of the fabric. Keep going along the line until you get to about an inch from the end. Then fold the left hand side of the raw latch hook fabric over, allowing two full squares in. At the corner, stitch the thread through as you would have done to continue the line, but this time taking in all four pieces of fabric at the fold. This may mean pushing the needle through the tightly woven selvage, just wiggle it through. Continue sewing down this new side in the same way as before. If you get to the end of your thread, tie on another piece from the ball of the darker blue cotton yarn. Make sure the knot is tight and trim the ends, then continue as before. When you've done two sides, we'll now count the squares to make sure the size is correct for the pattern. Along the length, the longer side, count 55 full squares then fold the edge over. Sew over this corner as you did with the last one and sew along the third edge of the fabric. Then count 41 full squares along the shorter side and fold the final edge over. Sew along this final side too. When you get to the end you'll meet up with the loose thread you had at the very start. Tie a knot in the two ends, make sure it's secure and trim the ends. Your fabric will look something like this. Inside your kit you have a template for the design. We'll start from the bottom row doing one full horizontal row at a time. Take your lighter blue wool and cut off a length of 10 inches that's approximately 25.5 centimetres. Use this as a guide to cut off another dozen lengths of 10 inches of the blue wool and you'll keep doing this throughout the project. Line these pieces up evenly against your ruler and cut through all of them at 2.5 inches, 5 inches and 7.5 inches. So you'll have four equal sections of 2.5 inches. To use the latch hook tool, push it fully through the hole in the bottom left corner of your fabric. Remember the fabric is landscape with a long edge facing you. Move the latch at the top of the hook so it's open. Then place one strand of the blue wool around the neck of the latch hook underneath the fabric and hold the two ends together on top. Still holding the wool, move it up and through the hook from the front to the back and close the latch on the tool over. Then pull the hook through the hole and it will pull the ends of the wool through towards you. Give the ends a little tug to tighten them onto the fabric. Keep going all the way along the first two rows, which are all the lighter blue wool colour. Always pull the ends towards you so each row lies flat on top of the previous. And if you need more of the wool, just cut another batch as you did before. 
We'll now prepare some of the darker blue wool. As you did before, cut 10 inch pieces initially, then evenly cut these down to 2.5 inch pieces. For the darker blue wool, as it's thinner, we'll use three pieces all at once for each square. Using your template as a guide, the first four squares on the third row are light blue. For your first dark blue square, line up three pieces of the yarn so they're the same height. Then use them as they were just one piece when putting them through the latch hook. You'll do this in exactly the same way as you did before. Following the pattern, create six darker blue latch hook squares, then go back to the lighter blue. Count along using your guide until the third row is complete. You'll now do the rest of the rug in exactly the same way using the template as a guide. Once you have the start of each one, the zigzag shapes are easier as they step in one square either side each time. If you realise you've created a square in the wrong colour, just push the ends back the other way, then pull the little loop to untie it. You can use the wool again in another square. If you want to check where you're at at any time, you can flip the rug over to the back and see each square's colour more easily. When you've finished, your rug will look something like this. Check it over and trim any wilder pieces. Well done, your rug is complete. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, subscribe to our channel or head on over to our website at craftiosity.co.uk to sign up for our newsletter for regular inspiration and tutorials into your inbox.